Hello students, today we are going to learn about limit cycles. This is a behavior associated with a non-linear system and you know that most of the real world systems are oscillatory in nature and those real world oscillatory systems they are non-linear in behavior. So in the case of a non-linear uh, oscillatory system you can have the idea or you can have the concept of limit cycle where basically what it means is that it is a closed trajectory in a two dimensional phase space but this closed trajectory have a peculiar features um, with respect to the closed trajectories which you see in the case of a harmonic oscillator okay so this idea was initiated or the study of limit cycles was initiated by Henry Poincare. Okay, first we'll um, I'll write a definition about limit cycle. Then we'll try to understand what basically it means. Okay, limit cycle is an isolated closed trajectory in the two-dimensional phase space with the condition that at least one other trajectory in the neighborhood of that will fall into this isolated closed trajectory as time approaches infinity. So you have already learned or you have already seen closed trajectories in the case of a simple harmonic oscillator. Okay. Then I will show you that and then I will t tell you what is the difference between the closed trajectory which I see in the case of a limit cycle compared to the closed trajectory which you have in the case of a linear harmonic oscillator. See, this is the phase curve of a linear simple harmonic oscillator where you have uh, ellipses, we can have various ellipses depending upon the initial condition. Okay, So you have an amplitude, smaller amplitude, your energy will be lesser, so your ellipse will be like that or phase trajectory can be like this. So if you have a more greater amplitude, then you are going to have a larger ellipse. Furthermore, you will have still further a larger ellipse, right? So you can have many closed trajectories in the case of a, um, a linear oscillator, right? But then when I say limit cycle, I mean to say that it is isolated closed trajectory, which I mean to say, which I, underst uh, which I uh, mean that there are no closed trajectory in the neighborhood of one closed trajectory. So which means that I can have only one closed trajectory and there can be trajectories outside that or inside that but they are not closed ones. Okay. So that is what I mean to say that it is an isolated closed trajectory. Okay. Now I will show you uh, the one of the limit cycle uh, then I will try to explain. See the first figure shown here. This is a two dimensional phase space and a limit cycle is plotted here. The hard uh, uh, thick red color which is actually a closed trajectory it shows this is actually a limit cycle and you can see there are trajectories outside that and inside that. Suppose the initial condition of a system is here. So as time goes on what happens is that this trajectory will this system will execute a oscillatory motion such that it follows this trajectory and finally it comes and falls into this particular closed trajectory. Now suppose if the system starts at this initial condition, okay, initially that the in the phase space you can plot the system with this point, okay. So as time approaches, what happens? It will come and fall into this particular closed trajectory, right? So that means if you have any trajectory anywhere about that, it will come, I have a trajectory, it will come and finally fall into this limit cycle, right? If I have a trajectory, if a starting point here, it will also come and finally fall into this particular trajectory, okay? This limit cycle, uh, something here that it will come and finally fall into this particular limit cycle. So which means that if I have any initial condition, whatever be the initial condition, after some time it will come and fall into this particular closed trajectory. So this closed trajectory, which is an isolated one, and with the condition that any other, if any one, it at, at least one other trajectory in the neighborhood of that come and fall into this 
closed trajectory as time approaches infinity you can call this closed trajectory as a limit cycle okay so i have again shown another two cases where you can see that same thing only but then just to make you understand with more diagrams you started here or the initial condition the system was here finally it goes and fall into this closed trajectory so this is the limit cycle here okay now you can see another figure here you have a closed trajectory which is called as the limit cycle this is the limit cycle okay now you can have initial condition okay now you see that this is actually a different behavior i'll explain you starting if this was the initial condition okay but then it initial with the initial condition it went and fall into another position and not to the closed uh, trajectory here also i started here okay then actually the initial state is here but then after time goes on as time goes it doesn't come and fall into this closed trajectory so this is a case which is different okay so this is a different kind of a limit cycle that i will try to explain if a system is such that i start anywhere or if the initial condition is whatever it whatever be finally it will come and fall into this trajectory other limit cycle you can say this comes and falls here i started here it come and fall to this particular limit cycle i call this situation of a non linear oscillator as the case of a stable limit cycle so wherever it started it come and fall into this closed trajectory or this closed limit cycle okay and this is called as a attractor this limit cycle is called as an attractor and why do you say it is an attractor you can understand because any whatever be the initial condition all the other trajectories in the neighborhood of that will come and fall into this limit cycle so that is why we call this limit cycle as an attractor okay and then um there are this limit cycle they have they can have self sustained oscillations they can have self sustained oscillations you know because whatever it be finally it will come and get Uh, optimized in this particular uh, limit cycle or in the closed trajectory so i can say that it can have self sustained oscillations and uh, the periodic firing of a pacemaker or a heart beat or um, the beating of a heart in the human body or uh, in the in the uh, living things this is actually a, ca a case of a stable limit cycle this is you can have this oscillations will be non periodic oscillate or non uh, linear oscillations but then you can have a small perturbation in the system right you can have variations in the heart beat but then even if it is uh, the system is perturbed after some time it will come back to the standard cycles standard rhythm right so we call them as a self sustained oscillation or you can call that particular case as the case of a stable limit cycle okay now you can have unstable limit cycle what i mean to say is that if you start anywhere near the neighborhood it will follow another track. actually it will ripple the limit cycle so it will start here it will actually if it has a stable limit cycle it will finally come and fall into this trajectory but here it doesn't falls what happens is that it gets ripple away from the limit cycle all right here also you can see that started here but then it ripple away from the limit cycle we call this limit cycle as an unstable limit cycle okay or you can call this as a repeller when you call this as an attractor obviously you can call this as an repeller okay now you see you have another kind of a limit cycle where the behavior is not exactly stable or not completely unstable you can say that if i start in here in this example if i start here it will repel away but if i start in the from outside of the limit cycle you can finally it will come and fall into this limit cycle so you can say that anything any oscillations or any um, perturbations started within the or uh, inside the limit cycle it will ripple away from the limit cycle but if the initial condition is outside the limit cycle it will come and finally fall into the limit cycle so this is actually half wave stable right all the systems outside or all the initial conditions out started outside come and fall into this limit cycle but whatever started within inside the limit cycle will actually move away from the limit cycle okay so that is half stable it can the uh, it can be the other way also that is uh, sometimes those 
with the initial condition here it can come and finally fall into this limit cycle okay and whatever started outside it can go away or it can it can it will not come and fall finally into this trajectory so that can that can also be the case so i have shown here a path very close it is not close it will move away from the uh, limit cycle so it can be either way something started inside can also get attracted something started outside can get repelled or the other way right so oh, both the cases are half stable limit cycles okay and then uh, you can call them as actually saddle also at this case of limit cycle the half stable limit cycles so this is all about the limit cycles then uh, you will understand uh, the wonderful oscillator is a best example of a uh, oscillator is a best example of a non linear oscillator uh, which actually shows this limit cycle behavior okay this is something which is discussed very uh, frequently so this is actually the figure of a uh one the pole oscillator that you can learn later uh that is you can have a closed touch you can see a closed trajectory here right closed trajectory here right so if we start here finally it will come and finally fall into this closed cycle and if i start here come and finally fall here if i start here it will come and finally fall here so this is the phase trajectory of a wonderpol oscillator and this is the limit cycle associated with that so what is a wonderpol oscillator and how you get a solution like this you can understand later okay so thank you very much so this is all about the limit cycles thank you very much